welcome to video number 11 uh, SQL reporting service today we are going to learn about joins how can we implement joins in SQL reporting service so I'm in my visual studio and I got like a normal look in which I got like data source is ready right so I'm gonna hit reports add I'm gonna add a new item all right <clears throat> so it's gonna take a while because my system very much sucks alright <coughs> so as you can see I got report and this is a joining report so I'm gonna call this report as join report let's hit add the moment I hit add you can see I got a joining report right so I'm gonna make this guy a little inside then I'm gonna do what I am going to add a data set I'm not going to add a data source because I already have a generic shared data source if you don't know what is a generic data source then you can refer to the video how uh, about the shared data source video right so for now I'm gonna click right click add a data set I'm gonna call this data set as a join because we are learning something about join then I'm gonna use the second option then I'm gonna choose a data source which I don't have right now but actually I have if I choose this option the shared data source and I can choose a generic now this generic actually points to this I'm sorry to this generic which you can see right here right on the right hand side okay and next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up my query designer if I want I can write my own query but I'll write a query and I don't understand why my system is very slow today <coughs> so right uh, I'm gonna add the tables which I want to use so right now I'm gonna use uh, you know the products and I'm gonna add alright and then I'm gonna do the close and as you can see I got products alright so I'll choose the product ID I'm gonna choose the product name and I'm gonna choose the category ID and I'm gonna execute this query the moment I execute this query you can see the data in here right and I'm gonna hit the OK <coughs> OK and OK and next thing uh, I'm gonna use my toolbox to get a table down here right and I'm gonna make this guy a little wider uh, let's do that later on but right now I'm gonna take the headers and I'm gonna apply some color the baby color the tiny whitey I don't know what color is that teal <coughs> so I have applied the teal and on the right hand side left hand side I got my data set ready and I'm gonna drag the product ID from here to here then I'm gonna add a product name then I'm gonna add the category ID and I'm gonna save this thing and I'm I'm gonna preview <coughs> the moment I do preview it's going to fire the SQL query and it will try to query all the records now you can see all the categories are down here alright but they are not uh, specifying a specific name it becomes very difficult for me to identify what are they right so what I need to do is I need to use the join so does it mean you need to write a query it depends uh, it, it's your choice so what I'm gonna do is I need a solution for category ID so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna add a table and I'm gonna find categories alright and the moment I do add the SQL query designer is a very smart fellow he knows you know what is the relation between product and categories so if you're using for your own purpose then your joins need to be very much you know uh, perfect or correct in order to make this thing happen so I'm gonna take this category ID out and I'm gonna do the category name so the moment I do that so it knows that there is a relation between these two guys and it knows what type of join is there so it actually if you look at that <coughs> you can see it is building a join for you alright so you can see the inner join between product and categories and you can see on what basis the join has made so either you can go by this design or you can write your own queries which you like to write over here then say ok and now you can see there's a category name so I'm gonna take this guy out I'm gonna delete this guy I'm gonna choose the category name I'll be putting it here I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna preview it did I just say preview it so now this looks very nice right it looks okay it looks good and this is a product ID product name and category ID you can change the name as category name save it and preview it and you can see all of them but uh, for now the problem is sort like you know 
this is a beautiful join which we can and using which you can see the data around here and the next video what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the session on group by and I'll show you how can you you know categorize these all things by category so we'll be seeing under beverages how many products are there under meat seafood how many products are there so in the next video we're going to discuss about uh, the group by right so I hope you like this video alright so if you like this video then please subscribe thank you for watching good night and take care